Hello again. I was a teenager at this time, at that time, in the 1930s. I had a bunch of friends in the Bronx. Now we used to go to Cortona Park or Claremont Park. Cortona Park was our favorite. And they had a beautiful lake there called Indian Lake, and they had a rock that was famous in that area called Indian Rock, which you could climb up on this, uh, this huge boulder. Well, the boulder was probably about maybe 15 feet high. It was almost round, like a ball. And there were steps cut into it, so you could climb up to the top, and there was a slight flat area on the top, so you could sit and overlook the park. It was a nice place to sit up there with somebody. And uh, a real favorite spot for kids and even grown-ups. This uh, one early evening, uh, a couple of friends and myself went into the park. It was uh, still a little light out. And we uh, climbed up on the rock. We had whatever conversation we had, peaceful, friendly, we were friends. Suddenly, everything happened suddenly, a whole group of larger boys came right through the rock and surrounded us. And they said, get off the rock. But we knew that we couldn't uh, fight them. And uh, so we, we didn't act like we were anxious to get down, but we did go down. And as soon as we got down, we were again surrounded, and we knew, and they knew that they wanted to, they wanted to harm us. So we looked at each other quickly, and we just started running in different directions, it turned out. I don't know what ever happened to the other two, but I can tell you what happened to me. Well, I did find out later what happened to the other two. They survived, obviously. So did I, obviously. What happened to me was, I just started running, and I was a good runner. And I heard these footsteps behind me wherever I ran. It was mostly in a straight line, and I wound up it, it was dark by then. It didn't take long to get dark. And um, I was running through tall grass, which I don't remember ever being in before at the park, even though I knew the park. Those steps were behind me all the time. Somebody was chasing me. I never looked back. I just kept going. I knew it was whoever it was was bigger than I was. I didn't know how long they'd keep up running. But finally I decided I couldn't run anymore. And I didn't know where I was going. I couldn't see a thing. It was pitch black. There were no lights where I was running. And then I noticed no more footsteps behind me. So I stopped. I turned around. No sign of anybody coming. And I didn't know where I was. I looked in front of me, couldn't see anything, so I reached out. One foot from my head was an anchor fence. You too? Well, I could have run straight into that fence at full speed. Talk about surprises and pleasant ones. That's the story of the Zempathic Sam again saying goodbye. I know it's tough. Every word is true. Bye.